Hello and welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries and this is a Fresh Manna Moment. This is an inspirational expose on concepts of biblical principles and topical study. I am Rev. Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., one of the ministers of the Fresh Manna Ministries International. These messages are designed to bring a sense of confidence as your walk with the Lord is enhanced through the embellishment of the Word of God in Scripture. Let's prepare for another topical experience in the Word. Fresh Manna Moments. Listen to him. Listen to him. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. Luke nine thirty six. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. Listen to him. Don't blame Peter. It was just his nature. Peter was one of those persons who has to have something to say about everything. And Peter could never be still and, and, and listen. He was an activist, eager to move, to say, to do. He was impatient. And that was the apostle Peter. Through and through, that was Peter. In that awesome moment on the Mount of Transfiguration, did not change things. Here was Peter, along with two other disciples, witnessing one of the most incredible sights and experiencing one of the most transforming events anyone could imagine. And rather than simply taking it all in, Peter again jumps in with a proposal that some altars be built for for Jesus, Elijah, and Moses. Can you almost see Peter scurrying around to find uh, building material and and encouraging James and John to to join him? But notice what would happen next. The voice of God declares simply and directly, this is my son, my chosen, listen to him. Of course, this was a declaration of the the, the nature of Jesus' role as the Messiah and Christ, but, but notice the imperative, listen to him, listen to him. Might God also be saying to you and to me, listen to Christ Jesus, listen to him, listen to him. For many of us, our prayers have become lists of all the things we want God through Christ to do for us. And once we have run through the litany of please God do this and please God do that and please God take care of this and please God stop them and stop us and stop me please God it's as if we end our prayer and hang up the telephone we never in silence, wait upon the Lord. We seldom spend our prayer time listening to Christ. We are seldom still in such a way that we can hear 
the still small voice of God still in such a way that that, that we can know God. Maybe that's how we ought to spend our time in prayer. Being still and listening to him. Shutting out the noise and listen to him. Yes, my sisters and brothers, it takes practice. Many of us hear, but not many of us listen. Listen to him. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. Well, I look forward to sharing with you the next time on Fresh Manna Moments. I encourage you to stay in the Word because there is no other place to reside. Remember the blessings of Numbers 624 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace until we meet again. This is Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., Fresh Manna Ministries, Fresh Manna Moments. Shalom.